if she exit on the gram, she probably can't keep a man. Let's talk about it. Shalom, shalom. How are y'all doing? Um, I wish nothing but whole peace to the 12 tribes. And if you are a Gentile following out the righteousness, Hey to y'all. What's up to y'all? So I wanted to talk about this because I feel like so many of y'all, y'all reach out to me on IG, King Brittany Chanel on Instagram, and y'all talk to me about this sort of stuff. Y'all DM me and y'all be like, yo, like what you said about this, it's, it's so real to me. Like a lot of people, they be nervous to leave me a comment in the comment section below. But you know, so much, you know, support and love from uh, my day one subscribers because y'all know I'm like I'm all over YouTube <laughs> it's crazy but um shout out to my day one supporters uh, and subscribers uh, y'all know this is my baby channel this is my ministry channel where I'm choosing to help the daughters of Zion and choosing to you know put forth you know put out Yah's word and you know things that he's putting on my heart to talk about this is one of the topics i feel like abba Yah put on my heart for me to talk about with the daughters of zion and it's something that um i noticed that they struggle with right so i talked to y'all about the truth about weave and makeup um there's several videos on the channel so if you have not seen those videos darling what are you waiting for go and watch those videos and subscribe to the channel um, because I'm going to be really talking a lot about this, you know, about this, you know, on videos, podcast style and some upcoming projects, um, because a lot of ladies want to be delivered from what is going on. And a lot of women, um, a lot of our sisters, they are not privy to, um, you know, the devices of the enemy and they're not privy to, you know, knowing why, you know, they're dealing with certain stuff. They're dealing with, you know, ailments like alopecia. They're dealing with ailments like, um, you know, you know, different, different things where, you know, financial situations, they're trying to get together. They may try, they may, you know, they may desperately want a man. They may desperately want a husband. And they're not realizing that a lot of the generational foundational curses are coming from, you know, judgments and stuff that was put out. And if the daughters of Zion don't keep certain their their end of the bargain with Abaya, this is how a lot of this stuff comes into play. Okay, I showed y'all a little bit about the scriptures that support it. Also, on that video that I just put out, the truth about weave and makeup, I'm going to put a link in the comment section of that video um, when I have the time. I'm going to put it on the the video where some of the research came from. And it's a video, like a documentary by BBC where they went to India and they showed um, these women cutting off their hair, well, you know, shaving off their hair and, you know, doing sacrifices to their gods over there. So that goes into the scriptures that I told y'all about where Abaya is telling um, the daughters, you know, telling, you know, us as a whole, Israel, you are not to bow down to any other uh deities of uh, you know you won't be supposed to worship him right so i told y'all about the relationship being that us being israel we are the bride to you know our you know the husband okay relationship the bride and husband relationship we are his people the bride he is the husband so i buy guys not playing these type of games and it's real life consequences and curses that come on the people and stuff like that when we don't as a covenant people when we don't follow certain things that's in the torah okay um and i have to talk about this because a lot of people they downplay they laugh at the torah the bible which is abaya's instructions they downplay it oh no you know we got real life issues out here they march and ain't nothing happening because it's mark is disobedience. Did he tell you to march or did he tell you to repent and change? He told you to repent. So you marching, you you doing all this stuff, you getting together. Ain't no power there because the power come in 
by repenting as a whole. Now, I'm going to tell you how all this comes into play with women being, you know, see on the gram and they ain't a man and they see on the gram. All of that. I'm going to tell y'all how it get into that. I'm silly, y'all. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you how it gets into uh, all of that. All right. So let me tell you how it goes into why these women are husbandless. Okay. So you have two sides of the situation. Men... I told, like I talked to y'all a little bit uh, in several videos before, but I'll talk about it a little bit. The men are, are are dealing with the attacks on them. And this has been way back to the Garden of Eden, right? When Adem, meaning blood of the soil, that's why we got this brown complexion. We got that, that ruddy complexion, okay? Go all the way back to the, our grandfather um, in the garden. When he did not put... Even perspective, he was supposed to put Eve in check because Adam was already given. When I say Torah, I mean instruction by the Most High. So he was already given instruction. So when Grandmother Chawa, which is Eve, her real name is Chawa, when she was tricked, because women are, we feel, we are emotional, we feel. That is just how we are. That's what we base our decision making on a lot of times, nine times out of 10, and we feel, right? This is why when I do these type of videos, you have women, oh, well, I feel like that's their main response. But it, it, when you when you obedient and, submiss and submissive to the Most High Yah, it's not always about how you feel. You got to do what Abba Yah told you to do, and you got to be obedient to it. Submission keeps you protected and safe when you honor the headship being abaya it keeps you safe and protected as a daughter and i'm gonna tell y'all I'm, I'm this it's all gonna segue to these women so you got on one hand you got the men where they got out of order and y'all know the whole thing where adem was struggling with choosing um you know, following after woman, following after the woman, and he was he was scared. I believe that Abba Yah was going to take her from him. You know, if he with the whole situation. Okay, so if he if he if he did, you know if he explained the way that it really happened, you know, because he kind of put it off on oh this this woman that you gave me, and he wasn't tricked. He knew not to do it. And he chose to go with the woman. And then when Abaya was looking for him, he started making up excuses. And I think it was because he thought Abaya was going to take the woman from him. You get what I'm saying? Because prior to that, Adem was lonely. Abaya had saw that. So he gave him a helper, like a helpmate being Chawa, right? So <laughs> I'm trying to get my thoughts together here. So with Chawa, she was beguiled by lust of the flesh she was beguiled she was tricked right you know Hasatan, the devil came you know slithering and all of that and talking about yeah you know i'll buy y'all you know you go ahead girl you could do that so long story short okay because we'll get into that the women was the woman was beguiled man was not so it caused a rift in our relationship it caused a riff in our community right and listen to the word beguiled beguiled means trick she was beguiled by the lust of the of her flesh right because your feelings a lot of times will get you jammed up that's why the most high y'all tell you the heart is wickedly deceitful who can know it so people be like oh what does your heart say no 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 you got to do what Abaya said. So it was up to Adem to give Chawa truth and to give her um, what the what the law, what the Torah, the instructions were. He just decided he was going just override that and just, you know, not listen to Yah and follow after the woman. So it messed up the hierarchy. It put women in a, in a seat that they were not supposed to originally be in. It put man in a seat where Abaya punished him uh, by allowing, you know, such things in the world, like, you know, for them to get out of their position because our men are not in their rightful position. 
and they're being attacked so that they can't take the rightful position. But all of that can change if they repent and turn on by God. But let's get back to the women. So the enemy, after that situation, he learned from that. He got intel, right? Because that's all your enemy gets intel on you, right? That's why it says the enemy walks about to and fro seeking whom he may devour, whom he may because he got to get permission from the most high God if he going to make any moves. But the, your enemy, you know, he gathers intel. So what he saw was, wait a second. I could get man to fumble the ball if I use her. This is his Achilles heel. This is, this is his kryptonite, okay? He, 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 he fold with her saying something. And that's how why we got these problems. That's a part of the reason why we got these problems. Another half of it is that um, women get into silly women type of time. And this is not, I'm not telling y'all this to get judgmental with y'all. Um, but also we have to get to an overstanding. Um, you know, we have to start eating steak and get off of the milk that if we are in the community as an Israelite, there's a such thing as righteous judgment. Now, judgment is 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 let me break down the definition of judgment judgment you could get a type of judgment that comes from the most high yah right where he puts a uh you know a decree on a situation where he is final call on a situation and then when you righteously judge you are righteously dividing or looking in a perspective at a situation and you're using the Torah as your reference. You're using the law of the Most High to, uh, you know, to, to look at a situation. You're not using your flesh to look at a situation. So this is why I don't like to, I don't like people that look at the current state of women or men and they just, they talk their crap, but they're not looking at the spiritual implications behind it. So these women... Um, the enemy decided that yeah, this is who I'm 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 going to use. Now inserts things like um, you know, and men, they you know, they they've been working with the enemy to kind of promote to kind of promote certain stuff. Now, women have gotten to the loose, promiscuous state, and this is not all women. Let me state this before people be in the comments, because some women are not into this, but there's been certain things that have been introduced to women or you know that women are doing to get attention from men right so we've had entertainers that kind of look like us but may not be us because they're all israel is not israel you know some people out here they ops and um you've had men that promoted uh you know bees ain't itch but in tricks right so you're you have these men and they have money and influence and they've promoted this culture of girls sliding credit cards down the down the behind of women and promoting women being in the videos looking a certain way promoting certain beauty standards that have caused our women to want to look like that to get to gain I'm going to tell you nine times out of 10, a lot of women that are, are melanated women, they want to be married and they want to be with an Israelite, a so-called Israelite man. Now, I'm not going to say so-called Israelite because if they a Negro, they are Israelite. Everybody that's melanated is not an Israelite. That's a whole different situation too for me to explain, but it's it's not going to be in this video. But they the what they what they want is you see that they're vying for the attention of the of the israelite man and you're seeing this because women follow the leader that's what they do right that's what they're what they do naturally right so i seen a video that a man put out and he said that women are receivers they take what you give them and then they multiply it that is very true so women have taken a lot of these inventions um, that Hasatan has made, that Hasatan taught man, like makeup was not initially made for women, yet it was taught to women. Um, and you notice know because of theater, theater, um, the roles, you know, women were not allowed to participate in the theater initially. 
And so what you had was you had men putting on stage makeup, playing all of the roles of women, right? And then this is why you see these, these trends of makeup that kind of look, uh, you know, have women looking more masculine because it's a counter reaction to stuff. If you're already feminine and you adding to the femininity, it makes you look more masculine. If you're masculine and you're adding to adding to the masculinity, you're going to look more feminine. That's how that that's how that happens, right? So these trends are promoted to the women um to get them to be out of role reversal. That you know, that's a spiritual role reversal. Also, um and in some of these cultures some of these things, when I say um, were given to them by men, not the Israelite men, okay? Because that was never initially our culture. We had our own culture. But I'm, I'm, you know, on this channel, y'all know, I'm speaking to the daughters of Zion. And like I said, if you're a Gentile and you, you, you chasing after righteousness, you know, you could apply some of this to you too because... You know, if you come to Abaya, you have to follow his uh, his rules, regulations, and the Torah, his instruction. So, things like makeup was taught to the women. Things like, you notice that um, the bikini and all that was created by a man, if you redo the research. All of that good stuff, right? So, what you have is that a lot of this stuff, like I said, was created by men. Not all men, but some men who came up with these fashion styles these and, and things like you know the women you know wanting the affection of the man they're seeing in the melanated community the man went from saying oh you are you 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 a, a queen and y'all know how i feel about the word queen because i don't feel like that's the original term um for us as you know women like i more so prefer empress I don't mind a man calling me, um, and I think it's in Hebrew, it's Malka. I, I don't I don't even mind you calling me a princess, but you're not going to sit up there. If you want to even call me a king, I'm good with that. I just don't do the word queen because I know what it means in the English language. But that's a whole nother story. And literally it means um, a loose woman, uh it's, it's just, look it up, y'all. Look it up. And if you notice the vulgarness that is the word queen is attached to today, you'll understand what I mean. But look, if you want to um, understand what I mean by that, look at the video that I had that said women are not mermaids and queens, that video. But yeah. So they went from calling, you know, our women stuff that was, you know, I would say loving, and it was love in the music to them saying, yeah, bust it open, girl, da, 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 and all the stupid stuff in the music, or I don't respect, because I'm from the, so basically, this was promoted, the women are like, hey, well, you know, these women are getting attention in the videos, and this is what it, what it seemed like it's up, and you know, these men, they're walking around with these women with all these alterations. So all of this marine kingdom type of stuff, like plastic surgery, anything that alters uh, what, you, what your phenotype is, what you genetically look like, that's getting into you, 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 you getting into the idolatry. You're getting into the stuff like I told you in the weave and um, makeup video because you, it's like if you insult yah's people's face you're insulting the face of elohim because we was made in his image so the enemy wants to pervert the image of the most high yah if you if you if you get that let me know in the comment section but that's what it is so these women are seeing these ladies in the um in the in the music videos scantily clad you have stuff like the bikini made by men you know fashion designed by men all this stuff is coming from the marine kingdom and all that other stuff um, and this stuff is promoted. This is all going back to the man falling out of place and not standing up um, and taking his place saying, woman, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I love you. We're not doing that. And the most high God said this, right? So soon as Hasatan saying that the man had folded, he used the woman and that lust of the flesh, you know, that I feel, because, you know, a, a lot of times if you have real men saying, 
you know, baby, you don't got to do all that. You'll have women arguing with them in the comment section. All that go back to the spirit of Leviathan. That the argumentative, all of that, all of the personality changes and, and switches. A lot of women think that they just got to, oh, that's just my personality. Is that your personality or is it a personality? Principality type time. You let me know in the comment section because you notice, like I told y'all in the other video, when the woman, when they put on all that seductive stuff, because the wonton eyes, you know that uh, Jezebel or Isabel put that little makeup on her eyes, eyes start swaying. All of that was used to seduce and all of that was witchcraft. So these women, Hasatan has used the lust of their flesh their emotional side that the most high you know gave us for it to be a good thing to manipulate the man and that's where we at today this is why a lot of these women who operate on seductress type of time and like i said the men have a role in this where they have promoted you know the, the women that scantily clad the women that was in the music video shaking they big behind and artificial plastic surgery now these women they running because they want to have that look so they running to get a bbl they running to do all this stuff they losing their life on the operating table getting botched surgeries now the men is like oh what's going on with the women why are the where's all the real women at you tell us why are you not telling these women that this, like, it should have been a, a you know, a stand up thing a long time ago. But all this pimping type of culture and all this little stuff where, you know, dudes, they glorified this mess. And now that the women, they out of control with it. You see a lot of these women, I see a lot of lonely women on IG um, I see some women on even YouTube where they do sensual like videos. They can't even be a regular just woman like on some straight feminine type of time. They or they gotta if they if they washing dishes they gotta put on the shortest dress. And you notice nine times out of ten, these women don't have no man. And it's because here's see here's the trick of the enemy right. Like I told you, the enemy lies to women and then runs off on the plug on them. He'll use them because he wants to get them to destroy and manipulate the man, but also destroy themselves in the process. So the Most High said that he wanted his daughters to be, you know, have humility um, shame face, sobriety, right? Sobriety means that you're able to see, you're able to, you know, think with a clear head, you're good, right? They're not able to do that when they're, when they're intoxicated and drunk with these, with these, uh, you know, spirits from these deities, right? You notice like they put that weave on, they start, <laughs> And the, all of that, all that activity you see, like when they got them eyelashes, when they put them nails on, they, they doing, they, they personality is shifting. Cause you notice that when they don't have all that stuff on, the actions is a little different. And even if, when they, when they take it off, if they have not bind up, casted out them spirits and it, that, that one right there and my country accent, that's a, that, that one that's attached to them weaves, that's a hard one to get up out of there. That's what a lot of the deliverance ministers say in the ministry. They say that one, that Leviathan, that's a hard one to get up out of there. And you got to be real on your, like, you got to want it. You got to just ask the most high to just take you down to the, to, the, to the ground, uproot all that. So these women, they think that men, to get a man, they think because Hasatan has tricked them into with all this stuff in the media and the stuff like that, that they got to be sensual to get a man. They got to not have no clothes on. That's not going to get you a man. That's going to get you rentu. That is going to get you with all these soul ties to where them spirit spouses, because you, you could have a few of them in there. They going to block you from getting a husband. 
And if you want, see, because a lot of people, they'll be like, oh, well, I ain't into all that Bible stuff. If you want to get into the nitty gritty and you want to get into the real baby, let's listen to a scientist explain what men think about women who are scantily clad. And from what the scientist is saying, because I'm going to play the, the audio, what the scientist is saying is that men do not view women as human when they are scantily clad. Now, women be like, oh, you know, it's my choice. Da, 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 da. You are sure right. The most high y'all say it's your choice too. Life and deletion, that's up to you. You could choose ye this day who you gonna serve. Are you gonna present yourself as a living sacrifice or are you gonna present yourself where you sacrifice to the other one? You have to just determine that. Because people say, oh, it's just clothing. But what is it doing? Or what, what spirits are you trying to evoke with, with the clothing that you have on? You got to ask yourself that. So the scientist in this next clip I'm about to play is explaining that men, when they see women dressed in scantily clad form, they don't look at those women as human and they look at it like the, the parts of their brain light up with hammers and tools. That's all they, so they're going to view you as an object, a hammer or a tool. Like, and women, I, I just feel like it's a lot of them that are so, some of them are so delusional where they equate a man typing it as love for them. And you see these women, this is why, this is why, ladies, it say envy not thou oppressor. Um, because you see these women on, on the thing, like they be celebrity women. They went and got all that surgery. Um, they wear all of the latest lace wigs, all of this makeup, and you, you don't see no men trying to wife that. But you, they got a laundry list of men that would pipe that, but they don't want to wife that. That's interesting. That is because of what I told you. The spiritual implications, right? When you indulge in the lust of the flesh and you let flesh beguile you, lust beguile you, when you let that serpent beguile you, you mortgage off stuff. So you want financial freedom. You want, um, you know, to have be married with a husband. The only thing that that lust-driven manipulation stuff and see this i'm gonna get deep with y'all right here before i get into that seduction is manipulation which is witchcraft which unbeknownst to you you may be operating as a witch the most high in his word says suffer not a witch to live so you got to determine right now Am I operating as a seductress? Am I operating in manipulation? If you altering your appearance so much so on some catfish type of time to, to lock in men, that is manipulation and witchcraft. And a lot of people, they'll argue that. But do you understand why they call certain makeup sorcery? That is why. Um, and whatever you, whatever you manipulate or you use witchcraft, to get, you're going to lose in that same way. So this is why you see all of the women now, they look the same, they all got a BBL, they all wear the lace wigs, they all wear makeup, and they cannot keep a dude. Because just like you attracted that person with just your lust driven, so you evoked in that, that man lust, right? You're going to lose him due to lust. Because he does not view you as anything more than a plaything. So a lot of women, they think like, oh, if I bait a man like this, this is going to lock a man in. And they'll pipe it. Like, a lot of women don't understand that. Like, men do not view relation in that, that way that you do. This is why a lot of women, they'll try to jump to, to, to lock a man in or manipulate a man with that acts and then it will repulse the man and they'll keep it moving 
And there's scriptures in the Torah about that too, where men sometimes, if you, if you, a lot of the time, if you bait them in with that, some men, they don't even really like you for real, but they'll participate in that. And then when they, when their spirit man wake up, they're so repulsed by what happened. I'm telling you, it's in the Torah. I'm telling you, I'm going to find that scripture for y'all. But the women, they're not understanding that that's a trick from the enemy to, to be seductive and the rest of that. And then the scientist in the next clip that I'm about to play, she expressed that women who were more modestly dressed, men were able to view them as human and they were able to view them in a way where they were heard and they were seen. So... And honestly, you guys, I can tell y'all like real life testimony. When I switched the way that I dressed, because it wasn't like I, my dress was not like seductive and like that's never been my style. But in being in Babylon, like you take on stuff like the makeup, you take off on the weave, you take on all of that stuff that's meant to uh, beguile, meant to evoke lust, right? Because you notice... I just get on Instagram. You see the woman with the long mermaid, uh, wet and wavy Brazilian. You see they, a lot of them be up there in whole negligees and stuff. They be up there talking about, oh, I'm doing this. But they, the, the picture don't got nothing to do with the caption. And they know what they're doing. And a lot of these women that you see, I'm telling y'all, the women that these women look up to and they replicate, these women do not have successful relationships. It's like they pass from one man to the next. And this is, we know it's just not a good thing. I don't care how much people be trying to tell you this liberation and being with man after man after man. There is no liberation in that. It's no liberation. It's, it makes women crazy. It's just no liberation. Liberation. <laughs> I said liberation. There's no liberation in that. Yeah, but I'm about to play the clip. And y'all let me know y'all's thoughts. Do y'all feel like these women or, uh, you know, women that you know that they look like these women on IG, they, you know, they aspire to be this and you notice what is the result? And a lot of women don't under like understand that them doing this with the seduction, it, it causes things like fornication, all of this stuff. And fornication, it came from, you know, Latin, and it refers to, you know, where the men would meet up with the with the pros under the vaults, you know, because obviously in Rome and that sort of time, there was vaulted openings, and that's where they would meet up with the with the with the pros and all of that other stuff. So it talks about also like if a man becomes one with a pro, okay, a seductress and all of that other stuff. He, he he's reduced to a, a crumb okay so we we getting into how the seduction and all of that other stuff and not true promotion of woman womanhood is causing a rift in the relationship between men and women men not checking their home and all of that other stuff is causing a rift in a relationship and how we could change that is repenting and coming together as man and woman how we're supposed to be and coming together and repenting so that the most high y'all can heal the situation so yeah i'm gonna play this clip and then i want y'all to tell me in the comment section do you agree with the scientists about this matter um do you think oh you know kb you reaching ain't nothing wrong with women dressing like that let me know in the comment section below all right guys so here is the clip Years ago, male college students at Princeton Uni University participated in studies of how the male brain reacts to seeing people in different amounts of clothing. Brain scans revealed that when men are shown pictures of scantily clad women, the region of the brain associated with tools such as screwdrivers and hammers lit up. Some men showed zero brain activity in the medial prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain that lights up when one ponders another person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Researchers found this shocking because they almost never see this part of the brain shut down in this way. 
And a Princeton professor said, it's as if they're reacting to these women as if they are not fully human. Mm. It's consistent with the idea that they are responding to these photographs as if they were responding to objects, not wow. people. In a separate Princeton study, when men viewed images of women in bikinis, they often associated with first-person action verbs, such as I push, I grab, I handle. Mm. But when they saw images of women dressed modestly, they associated them with third-person action verbs, such as she pushes, she grabs. Hallelujah. Analysts at the National Geographic concluded that bikinis really do inspire men to see women as objects, as something to be used. A few years ago, male college... All right, so you heard the, the, the lady state that they do not view women that are scantily clad as anything more than objects. Um, and also, they don't view them as human so it's something to think about ladies you know you can you, you know when you're when you're getting dressed you know recognizing that 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 might be a device of the enemy used to make you not seem human you get what i'm saying um and it's clearly she clearly said that the research shows that more modest dressed women they were seen as human and the men were able to see them and they were using, you know, she, you know, pushes, she pulls, all of that thing. They were able to view her as a person. So that's something to think about. Leave your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. See y'all on the next video.